love doing this fine, I guess what we're calling a pre-fall day. I don't know. It's kind of humid here in Minneapolis, and I wouldn't say that it feels particularly ready for it, but my brain has officially shifted. I am thinking about back to school haircuts. I am thinking about the clothes that are needed, getting all those school supplies together, washing the backpacks, making sure there's not some weird old food left in lunch boxes. Is anyone else afraid of that? I'm a little nervous about that. So my brain is there, which what that really means for many of us is that it is time for a new year. So I'm throwing out that old idea that January is the time for resolutions and a fresh start. And I really think it's for so many of us all about September. It's when we get to get new clothes, it's when we have a little bit more time on our schedule, and at least we're returning in some way, shape, or form to that established normal, right? That craze of summer, which is so darn fun, settles down a little bit, and we get to get into a routine. So, when I think about that, and I think about the clothes I need, I am thinking about those crazy, versatile pieces. So not so much a capsule, but I would say more of the pieces I know I'm gonna wear again and again and again that can kind of interweave and mix in and out with all of my favorites. So we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna start number one with this fabulous knit French Connection dress. Now, here's the thing about this guy. Looks a little bit like a sweater, acts like a t-shirt. So it's actually really lightweight. Great little side slit on this guy. Long sleeve crew neck. Now, here's the thing. I was very intimidated to put this on. And then I thought about the many women that I know in our office who have been wearing this and they have been rocking it. We're talking curvy, we're talking call, we're talking petite, we're talking more rectangle. And I think what the secret sauce of this dress is, is how to really mix and match it. So the reason I like it for petites is that great slit. Note that I did a little ruching on the sleeve on this guy. And because it's so darn stretchy, I made it just casual. I'm gonna knock around in it. I popped on a pair of P448s. Now, if you have not stepped up your sneaker game yet and you have been waiting to make a sneaker investment, I'm gonna tell you right now that the assortment of P448 in our stores and online is bananas good. One of the reasons I love it is that it's really all based in neutrals. So they are great sneakers you can literally wear with anything. Now this guy, a little bit of faux calf hair on it, a little bit of patent, but it's white cream tan. Easy. You know I love a good high top. Here's another really fun option from P448. This guy has a little bit of a gold hit on it and then this more bronze on the inside. Gray lace, neutral, neutral. I almost popped it on with this dress but then went for the low top. What I love about their high tops, of course, is you just zip in, zip out. Another really great option. I've got another one coming on stories this weekend that you're absolutely gonna adore. So easy to wear, and also with this dress, it doesn't need to be dressed up. Now, if I wanted to turn up the volume a little bit, of course, I could put on a booty. I grabbed our absolute best selling booty right now. This is the Silma from Dolce Vita. Why we love this guy, neutral, low profile, not a crazy high heel, Western detail. What is my usual size? Is a small, and I'm wearing a small in this dress. It's got a tremendous amount of stretch gang, so you do not need to size up in this. It's gonna really move with you. So this would be a really fun one to pop on. I actually had this on first. I loved it because it made it look a little bit more elevated, but I want casual sneaker. This is just a way to turn it up. Super fun question. How can petites pull off those high top sneakers without losing leg? Oh, it's such a good question. So when I wear my high tops, if I'm wearing them with a jean, I always wear them with a crop. Or I also like them with a good boyfriend, kind of rolled up. Now, I think there's this kind of old rule out there that you can't wear high tops with like a skirt or shorts. I say petites, it's actually meant for you because it doesn't make you feel quite so naked. So I'll wear my high tops with my cutoffs. I'll wear them with a, like a fun little short skirt. And because we are just more petite in stature, it doesn't feel quite so exposed. The other thing I really like is just that sliver, sliver of skin. So what's great about the P448 high top is that it's not crazy, crazy high. So 
I know that all of our girl gangs out there are rocking those Converse high tops, which are adorable, but they are higher. This guy is definitely a lower profile, so an easy one to wear with teens. Such a good question because that could be a stumper, right? Total stumper. And then also, do you wear yeah. spanks under the dress? Oh, um, hello, yes. Today I'm not because I um, didn't plan on wearing this dress, and so if I run out of air shortly, you'll know it's because I've been sucking in for a good half an hour. But yes, this to me is Spanx, Skims friendly, hold me in in all the places. What's great about this guy is because it's ribbed, sometimes I get a little sensitive about my Spanx. Do they show? Can you see them? The slit's not too high, so if you're wearing a full-length Spanx, it's not going to show. But this ribbing fabrication is great because it really gives you just enough give and move, but also disguises undergarments. So I'm wearing right now, not in Spanx, but I'm wearing seamless undies and a seamless bra, which I think makes all the difference in the world in a dress like this. Same thing for sweater dresses as we start to look deeper into fall. Those are my, that is like my best paired friend with anything that is a knit and a dress and a little bit more kind of body conscious. Such a good question. Okay, so let's stay on the dress vein just because I think it's, there's a lot of like really fun things to talk about. This Michael Starr's dress. Now, this was the other one I was maybe going to put on. And then I just, I wanted you to see this on because I didn't want you to be intimidated by it because I do think it's just a rock star dress, especially in the color. Now, this is another sister. I mean, this Michael Starr dress has a lot of siblings because there's so many great versions of it. You know it. That amazing rib fabric ruching down the side. I'm going to show it to you in the plum because it's easier to see the detail on it. Ruching down the side and this really fun mock neck. Now, what I think is fantastic about this dress comes in black and in this gorgeous, gorgeous plum. More of a knee length, so it's not super long. Same rules apply. You can wear it with a sneaker, you can wear it with a booty, you can wear it with a loafer. This guy, as well as the French Connection dress that I am wearing, are so easy to pair back to jackets. So wear it now, like date night, bare. As the weather starts to turn, pop on a taller booty and get your great jacket on and done and done. Also a knit, so super lightweight for my friends out there who are in warmer climates. This is the perfect dress for you because it's still that summer weight rib, but has a little just nod to fall with that great, the looser mock t-neck. Remember on this one, you don't need to like scrunch it all the way up. It's just gonna relax and hang down. Um, does it fit the same as the V-neck and the crew neck style? 100%. Is that dress snug at the tummy? This guy, what I love about this is that ruching. So this is the one where you can kind of play with it and make that ruching kind of work for you. So when I wear this, especially petite, even though I have a long torso, I pull it up just a little bit and let that ruching kind of fall around my lower waist and kind of into my hips and it really helps to give an hourglass shape. So same fit as some of our favorite versions, the Maya version of this, the crew neck version of this, the one shoulder version of this. This just has a new neckline and it's fabulous. I promise you're going to love, love, love this guy. Okay, so I mentioned that what's so great about these knit dresses is you can wear, throw on a great jacket and that to me is a staple staple for my early fall season. So let's start off with one of our faves, of course, a moto jacket. Now, lots of ways to do this. I'm gonna talk about this great little vegan version first because it comes in such yummy colors. I love this brown. Brown is definitely a thing for fall season. Really, really fantastic. It also comes in this yummy, yummy green. We were talking about how the greens this season feel a little bit more, I don't know, almost like pine kind of color, which I think is really fun, so not such a dark, dark green. And then of course, for all my rock and roll gals out there, black. Gotta do it, right? So let's just take a look at the brown because I think if you have a moto jacket in your closet, but I'm guessing it's probably black, and you need a new updated jacket, I would go brown all the way. Now, what makes this jacket so fantastic is the stretch. Now this is from Every. It is meant to move and stretch with you, meant to be layered, and also it's a great travel jacket. So I know so many of you are looking forward to some fall trips this year and you need an easy jacket you can throw in your carry-on, into your suitcase, don't worry about it, getting wrinkled, this is an easy, easy one to do. So here we go, great little moto, great shape to it. One of the things I absolutely love about this is that it's not too long. So. 
over a dress, I think it really gives you fantastic shaping around your waist. Really chic and easy to wear. So put together, right? Isn't this fun? I know. It's not like, this is like a many, 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 many loves. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any. Cute dress in your fall, full and gorgeous. Got a ton of comments. Oh, yes. Okay, so Carla, Katie is telling me she just got the cutest blue dress, and I bet I know exactly which one it is. It was that amazing Cleo Bella dress that was featured in her August catalog, and it is bananas good. And what's so fun about that is it looks great with a moto jacket. So we were talking a little bit a couple weeks ago about that beautiful kind of statement boho dress, that modern boho, and how it can be a little bit tricky for different body types, and I walked through some different ideas of how to kind of ease into that trend. One of the things I love about that trend is you probably have a version of it in your summer closet, right? Some, a dress you really wore and you felt like a million bucks in it and it was feminine and sexy and chic. Pop on a moto jacket over it and it gives it some great edge, which I absolutely love. So fun. So fun. Question. Can you elaborate a little bit more about sizing? And yes. What you're wearing? Oh, it's such a good question. Okay, so true to size in this one, lots and lots of stretch. So you can see if I were to zip it, which I actually think can look really chic, right? It's super, super figure flattering, but gang, look at all the stretch. And part of that is because of the way that it's designed. You've got these great panels that really move with you. True to size in this one, remember that even though I'm a petite, I have really broad shoulders and I love how this fits on my shape. It's an easy, easy one to layer. So fun, three colors, gotta get it. Now. If you want something that maybe is not in vegan, a little bit more relaxed, but has that moto shape, there's another fantastic jacket. I actually wore this for stories last week, if you wanna see it on me there. But this is from Free People, and what I love about this is more of the oversized shape. So, if you are looking for a jacket to give you a little bit more shape, a little bit more fitted, dare I say a little bit more sexy, um, or even I'd say, I would wear that great stretch every moto to work because I think it feels polished and put together. Here's what I think is kind of a fun alternative to that. And that is this great moto knit from Free People. Now this guy is generous. It is meant to be relaxed. It has some really fun detail here. Like you can see that great little buckle that when I wear it, I just wear it open and let it hang. I'm gonna actually show you what this looks like on so you guys can get a sense of it but it is a totally different fit from the vegan, but in the same moto family. So just a kind of different way to do it. Same properties, meaning throw it in your suitcase, make it super easy to travel with. It's a knit, so it's not super heavy. So I think one of those perfect fall jackets, I always have so many dreams about all the places I'm gonna wear fall jackets. Do you guys have that too? Like put together jacket outfits in your head. And then, I don't know. I, I, I don't go to those places, but I, in my head I do, and so then I want the jacket, and then maybe like what the thing is, you gotta buy the jacket and it makes you go to the place. Okay, so here it is. Free people, note, a little bit longer. So if you are curvier, this would be a great alternative to that shorter jacket because you might want a little bit more coverage. It's also more relaxed and oversized. So petites, don't be afraid of this. Just note, this is gonna do kind of different things for you than that great every jacket will do. It's not meant to be like super figure shaping the way that that every jacket is. This is meant to be more relaxed. Now what I love about this is that you can layer it over a sweater, like a full on sweater, because there's plenty of room in the arm. I like this best layered with something that has a little bit more shape underneath and then a great pair of jeans. It's easy to wear, feels really, really comfortable. And again, because of that lightweight nature of it, it's like a sweatshirt, but a jacket. So fun, right? So cute, so cute, so, so fun. And I think it gives a totally different spin to this dress. I mean, now with my sneakers, I feel kind of casual, chic, cool, and do it in black or do it in that gray cream, so easy. Maybe pop on your like, sh like little Shirley Burks would be such a fun combination, wouldn't it? So cute. Okay, so here's that. Now, in that same family, looking for a great jacket, quilted jacket. So we've had versions of this over the years. This one, oh, I think it might be my favorite from Z Supply yet. So. What makes this jacket great? Well, first of all, I love the quilting detail on this one. So pretty, and I think a little more feminine than just your straight up 
horizontal vertical quilt. So with this great movement here, you get the detail of the quilting, but none of the bulk, which I think is really, really nice. Two yummy colors, this great washed down kind of denim blue, and then this really pretty light terracotta. Another, this was the jacket that I bought a version of last year in a great olive green. I wore this all fall season. I popped it on with cutoffs and a t-shirt in like that early, early fall, and then later with a sweater and jeans and my Sorrells as the temperature started to turn, but I still don't need that heavy jacket. It's a great jacket for kind of nights out, running around with the kiddos on the weekend, and it's such a good price, you guys. $139 a jacket you're gonna wear over and over again. And isn't that denim fun? Like a little bit unexpected, right? So cute. Should I try, can I try on the ZZ Supply jacket? You bet I can. No problem. So note this, remember, we're kind of going from maybe most shaped to most relaxed and fit. And it's, this is such a great dress because it's such a blank palette. You can see how it kind of ebbs and moves depending on what jacket I have on with it, if I can even hang this up. Maybe not upside down, it would be helpful. I can hang it, you know, the right way. Okay, so here we go. Let's try on this yummy terracotta color, because I think that's actually really cute with this dress. Now, I always think these jackets from Z Supply run a little bit generous. So this is an extra small. Not as, I would say, wide as it was last year, which I think is an actual, Kind of amazing upgrade on this. Super simple, no pockets on this guy. It's just meant to be a simple little layer, little bit shorter too, so you're getting that great shaping. You can really almost treat this like a cardigan, which is so fun. Neutral, easy, really pretty to just pop on. And again, I think this quilting, man, it really adds like such great shape to it without the bulk, which is so funny. Isn't it great? I know, so cute. Okay, so this guy, two colors, weighs like lots and lots of ways to wear it. So your motos, your free people, relaxed, kind of motorcycle jacket, and then your great little quilted jacket here. So fun, easy to style. Now, there's always questions. When you have on a one piece style, can you wear a jacket over it if it's not a knit dress? I think it can get a little tricky. Or if it doesn't have like really specific shaping, I'm here to tell you, you can. And two of my favorite woven pieces are right here, both total home runs. So let's start with the Michael Starr's dress. Great little canvas dress. You might have been one of the lucky few who got a version of this dress in the spring when we brought it in this great tumbled linen in a yummy, yummy green. Well, here is the fall version in more of a canvas neutral. Now, what I like about this, number one, it's short. So. If you are not looking for a longer dress, this is a really easy one to throw on. It still feels cool in the fall season. Sleeves with a tab. So if you are not a big roller, if you find that fussy, mussy, a big pain, easy one to just pop on because we'll have that tab for you. You can also, of course, unroll it and wear it long sleeve. And then I love this polo collar detail. Perfect for showing off your statement necklaces. This is fantastic with a little booty. And yes, you can wear a jacket over this. I think when I wear a jacket or a dress like this that has a collar to it, I tend to like a jacket with more of a collar or at least something that stands up. So this knee supply would work beautifully or I would be more inclined, I think, to go into my little every moto over this guy because again, I can get a little bit more structure in this collar if I just pop that back up. Do you see how it gives the front of this jacket some shape? Which would be really nice layered over this Michael Starr's dress. So neutral, neutral, easy, pop on a pair of booties or a sneaker, you're done. Okay, another fantastic way to kind of get that one piece dressing done is in the Pistola jumpsuit. Ash is gonna have this on in stories in a couple weeks. You have to check it out on her there. In the interim, see it on our site. This is the same fit as the romper we had earlier this year. So more of this yummy, yummy, kind of cranberry red color, really pretty. Now, what we know is the secret sauce about this guy is that it has these adjustable buttons. So that really means you can shape how it's gonna fit around your waist. Wear it more straight, I call that more of like a, kind of like a coverall feel, right, when it's more straight and sporty. Roll at the bottom, pop on a pair of sneakers, done. Move that tab over one or two, 
What's great about that is that it gives you some really nice waist shaping and still opens up that neckline. Now I love this with some gold jewelry on it and then when you get into later fall season, one of my favorite ways to wear this guy is layered over a long sleeve tee. Keep it open and you've got a little bit more coverage but it's not so, so heavy. And then yes, of course, same rules here as I would say with my Michael Starr's dress. I like this with a jacket that has a little bit more of a collar to it. So be it the Z Supply or a blazer, it looks really chic with this or even your moto. Hitting you at the waist, giving you some nice shape. Really cute one. And you know, this one too, under $150, it's such a great price for such a beautiful jumpsuit, so easy to wear. Okay, other staples for this kind of refresh time of year that feels so fantastic. Everybody needs a great, easy sweater. So, I don't know about you, I am not ready to give up that coastal grandmother trend quite yet. And I think the reason I love that trend is because it's a wardrobe built on fantastic, breezy, easy basics. So, what you need for fall season to kind of still lean a little bit into that trend is a great, what I call, shaker knit sweater. So this sweater, I'm gonna show you, let's see what color will you see it best in. I'll grab this great little kind of cement color. So this is a shaker knit, okay? So this great kind of V-neck, it's always in cotton to make it really lightweight and easy. It's because of the knit, it's got this great weight to it, but it's not heavy. So an easy one to throw over your shoulders, throw in your bag, pop it on. I mean, I love it with a cutoff. Could we love it more? So darn cute. And it's meant to be just a smidge oversized. So true size in this one. Guys, just in case anyone's wondering, the dress French Connection, okay? And this yummy, yummy sweater is from Every. So it comes in multiple colors. This great cement color. Absolutely love this olive green. Can we hear it for this yummy kind of rosy terracotta? Because come fall, we need a little color in our wardrobe. And this is a good one because it's gonna act like a neutral. And then of course, a really, really creamy white. So fantastic. I gotta show you guys this one on just because it's so pretty and easy to wear. So I tried this on yesterday for the first time and absolutely fell in love. It's also a fantastic price, under $100. And it's definitely one of those dresses, excuse me, sweaters that you're just gonna wear all the time. So you can see what I mean when I say it's just a little tiny bit oversized. Not crazy relaxed, right? So you feel, still feel put together, still feels really easy to wear, but just enough that it's relaxed. And it's even cute over this dress. I mean, what? How versatile, you guys, this dress is just bananas good. It's coming home with me today for sure. Okay, so here's the deal. I love this sweater over it. You can also throw it over your shoulders for a fun little layer. I even sometimes will bring a sweater with me when I know that I'm gonna be wearing like a lighter weight jacket just in case I need an extra layer. I know many, many people still have those fun Europe trips on their calendar and for someone who used to travel to Europe all the time in the fall for work, the weather can be ridiculously unpredictable. So it's always nice to have one extra layer in the bag just in case. And this is one that kind of goes with everything. So, so easy. Okay, I would be crazy if I didn't tell you about everybody's favorite sweater. The favorite off the shoulder. It's called that for a reason because everybody adores this, adores this sweater couple things about the sweater. Number one, it's generous. I go down a size in this one and I still have plenty of room. Number two, you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. So really, really easy to wear. You can see that that sleeve is more relaxed. It's not too long. We actually shortened it up just a bit this year, which I really like because it doesn't feel quite so full. An easy one to do a half tuck in. Comes in this really beautiful light gray this gorgeous slate blue. Mm, this is the color that everyone's been just snagging because it looks so great with denim. And then guess what? That rich rosy terracotta is back. So you'll notice this is definitely a color that we're kind of loving for fall season. There's lots of range in this one, depending on your skin tone and what you really gravitate towards. 
I'm a fan of this because I think even if you're not a big color person, this is an easy one to wear. So, favorite at the shoulder, three colors, cannot go wrong. Looks so great with denim, also super chic with like a utility pant. And I love because it can be off the shoulder, on the shoulder, you can go sexy or you can go casual in it. Kind of no rules. Speaking of bottoms, what am I gonna wear that great sweater with or even this yummy, yummy little sweater? Well, I'm gonna wear it with a great jean or a utility pant. So here's the deal. We all need to update our denim. We know it. And we've got 70s denim on our brains, right? So what's great about 70s denim is there's so many iterations. You can do a wide leg, you can do a flare, you can do a boot cut. Lots and lots of ways to interpret this depending on your body type. So for me, as a petite, Something that I think about when I'm styling myself and then when I'm thinking about when I'm styling others who might be taller or curvier than I am, God bless you for both of those things, it's all about proportion. So, I'm gonna grab what I think is the home run wide leg for everyone, and that is the cut neck. Now, the reason I love this guy is it's adjustable, <laughs> which means you can cut it off. So. I think wide legs are easiest to pull off when they're more of a crop. This cut is more of a high rise. It has a tremendous, tremendous amount of stretch in it. Just a smidge of destruction to give it some character and a raw hem. It does not squeeze your leg and flare out. It is a straight all the way through. And with that raw hem, you can adjust it to more of a crop length. If you're petite, if you are taller, it's already gonna be cropped on you. And I love this medium blue wash. It just gives it character and spirit and feeling. And P.S., it's also an amazing price, under 100 bucks. Can't be beat. So if you're gonna start, get that one wide leg that you need for fall as you transition, this guy, to me, is perfection. Other versions, though, of the wide leg that I really like, let's see, let's go with the page. So this, similar properties to the Meg, what I think is different about this one, number one, is the wash. So a little bit dressier. This dark wash, I feel like, is something we haven't been doing for a while, and as you're looking to fall season, really fun to update your closet with this. I also love Paige because this is more, I'd say, of a tailored fit. So Paige just has, I always kind of call it this like New York spirit to it. There's something about it that feels refined and a little bit more sophisticated. Clean denim, I think they do it better than anybody. Also though, has a tremendous amount of stretch and this is also a raw hem ankle length. So an easy one to adjust as you need to. Just styled this on Steph, one of our style crew members and she looked amazing in it. So another favorite if you're looking for a darker wash. And then, if we're just gonna go all out, we're gonna take a risk, then we're gonna talk about the barrel jean, right? So this is a version of the wide leg. This is from Citizens of Humanity. What's this puppy called? I wanna give you the name of it. This is the Gaucho wide leg. So this is truly, truly a very wide leg. Now, who do I think looks best in this? Anyone who wants to wear it, because this jean takes some confidence. Me, 5'4", I'm gonna try this puppy on, because I wanna see what it looks like. And when I say 5'4", I really mean 5'3". Let's be honest, I'm not quite there anymore. So what's different about this one than our last two that we talked about? This guy has a wider leg all the way down. It is more of a traditional denim fabrication. Translation, no stretch. So this is guy is gonna have a little bit more of that rigid feel. You know citizens, they are known for their incredible fabrications and washes. So it looks lived in and chic. How to wear the gaucho, I think it is meant to be more of a crop. So if you try this on, the leg's too long, this is one that you bring to your friend the tailor and they keep that original hem and hem it up for you so it hits you above the ankle. Looks great on some long legs for sure. But one of the things I actually love about the gaucho is that it is so fantastic on someone with curves. And because it's citizens, you know it's gonna have a higher rise, so it's really gonna give you some nice shape around your waist. Okay, we talked about fabulous pullover sweaters. We talked about that shaker knit that's so great and our favorite off the shoulder. Let's talk a little bit about layering. Now, when we're in this transition time of year, I'm always looking for just a great layer that I can wear on its own and it doesn't feel flat but I'm also looking for something I can pop on underneath a cardigan or a jacket. So, grabbed a couple faves. 
First, we're going to talk about my favorite t-shirt, Perfect White Tee. Brand new line for every, we just got restocked in it, and here's why this is such a fantastic, fantastic brand. Made in California, the shape is terrific. What's great about it, I think, is the sleeve doesn't do that weird wingy thing. You know what I'm talking about when you put on a t-shirt and it like sticks out real high and hard on the side? This guy does not do that. One of the reasons I love it comes in a v-neck in gray, black, and in white. I think that these tees are generous. So I go down a size in them because I want a little bit more shape. They still feel really, really relaxed. What I also love about this, oh, so, so soft. So, staple tee, refresh for fall. I love it in a v-neck because this works so beautifully with the cardigan, keeps that neckline open. Also really easy to wear with a jacket for the exact same reason. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more shaped, this is where that kind of Henley silhouette can come into play. This is from Michael Starks. I love this guy paired back to any of the jackets we talked about or a cardigan, which I'll show you in a second. What is fun about this is it takes that v-neck from our tee, Puts it in a rib fabrication, like my dress, or like that fun Michael Starr's dress we were talking about earlier. Gives us some shape, and you've got that V-neck, so really, really flattering. So, the tee I was just showing you is perfect white tee. The Henley I'm showing you now, Michael Starr's. A little bit thicker fabrication, really more of a sweater knit gang, so if you're looking for something that's a little bit more elevated, I also love this on its own. So cool, back to one of those wide leg denims we talked about. It's the perfect, easy fall transition look. This is for sure coming home with me because I can't get enough of that wide leg jean. And this on its own now, worn with a layer later, done. If you're not a Henley fan, here is a sister to that style. This is from Citizens of Humanity. More of a sweetheart neckline on this one, so you're still getting that nice open neckline, which is so flattering. But again, really easy to layer underneath jackets, and this guy can be a little sexy. So you throw on a vegan jean, and you're done. So fun. All right, last two pieces we're gonna talk about in that mom, new year, make a new year kind of wardrobe. Everybody needs a Cardi, everybody needs a woven, a woven shirt. So, grabbing my faves, here's the deal. I wore this a couple weeks ago, showed three different ways to style this great green shirt. This is from Rails. It's so fun and so put together. It also comes in that yummy Robin's Egg Blue. Why do we love this guy? All the properties of a woven shirt, like that classic button down, but with a little bit of flair. And I know you guys always love a little bit of a turn on a basic, right? So more of a luminous sleeve on this one. I wore it open. I also wore it tucked in and crossed, so it gave me a little more shape. And then I wore it really, really simply, just paired back to a pair of denim. I just want to make sure we're not, not missing any questions. Okay, so here you go. Green shirt, absolutely love this. Again, this is from Rails. I also think one of the details about this that's so nice is that the collar is not crazy big. So really, really feminine fit on this one and detail. And then let's give a shout out for the perfect white shirt from Sanctuary. This guy also happens to come in a blue and white stripe, which I adore. What's fabulous about this tunic length shirt is that it is a fantastic pop and fabrication. So it's got enough crisp feeling to it that it is really easy and put together. I'm gonna to show you what this looks like treated almost like a jacket. So I'm gonna pop off that great every shaker knit for just a second so you can see the sanctuary shirt. Again, comes in multiple colors in this one, and I think it runs generous. So I tried on my, a size small in it when I wore, was wearing it yesterday, and it felt just a little bit big on me. So I really went with more of an extra small, went down a size in this one, and I still felt like it was giving me enough room. Now, how to wear this guy? Well, again, kind of like that great little Rails shirt I was talking about earlier. It's an easy, easy one to wear almost like a layer. And then as we get more into fall season, you can style it on its own. So here for length, you can see a little bit longer, right? Which is so fantastic, not always easy to find. I'm just gonna leave it open. I'm gonna take my buttons on the sleeve here, double buttons. I mentioned this before, I love, how much is this Sanctuary shirt? Oh, I'm gonna have to double check and see, guys. 
Hold on one second, or maybe we can answer it for you. So do a little roll on this one. Again, unbuttoning that sleeves. I'm gonna show you two different ways to roll it, okay? One, pulling that cuff all the way up, and then letting it kind of poke out. One is tucking the cuff in, kind of your preference, whichever you like better. I've always been a fan of the cuff out, so let's even it up, you can see that. I think it just looks a little more casual. I love this layered over a long sleeve too because kind of pulling that hem down, giving it a little peek, I think is really fun. So easy to wear. You could totally knot this if you wanted. I love that. How cute is that? Give yourself a little bit of waist. So flattering, so easy. Leave it untucked. Or once we get more into fall season, I tuck it up, tuck it into a pair of jeans. My wide legs would be adorable and done. So I consider this to be one of the absolute perfect white shirts we've ever had in our store. This is an essential, something you're gonna wear again and again and again, a foundation for your wardrobe, get a fresh one, get a fresh start, done. And then of course, you can always layer it over a great Cardi. So I grabbed this because I think this is a really fun new detail that's happening. We're calling it kind of this varsity professor stripe. What's great about it is that it gives your classic cardigan just a little bit more spirit. So here it is in this great neutral as well as in black with great tipping. Gang, that cardi you've had hanging over the back of your chair that you put on either at home or at the office that ugh, just looks a little flat. This one, so darn good. It's got personality, it's not so long, so really flattering. Easy to layer just a little tank top underneath on this one and almost wear it as a shirt, which would be so cute, tucked into a pair of jeans. An absolute new way to do Cardi's and a fun piece to have in your closet as you're looking to build that fall wardrobe. Whew, okay. We ran through a ton today, didn't we? This is a really great time to start thinking about how to build that foundation, how to get a fresh start in your closet, what you need now that we're starting to see summer maybe in our rear view mirror and looking at fall coming at us i know sad 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 tears for summer i love summer so we're not thinking about it yet but gosh knows our brains are starting to prep for fall so the great pieces that you need to get your closet up to speed build that foundation and we are good to go thanks everyone for joining me today it was so fun to have you here and we will see you soon take care